In this video, we're going to learn about type conversion in Python. So type conversion is sometimes called typecasting. Type conversion occurs when a value of one type is converted to a value of a different type. There's two main ways that type conversion occurs in Python. There is implicit type conversion and explicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion is type conversion that occurs automatically as part of the execution of a Python program. Explicit type conversion is when we as the programmer explicitly decide to convert a value of one type to a value of a different type. So first, let's go over an example of implicit type conversion. Let's create a variable called x and we'll assign it the value two, where two is an int value. Then we'll create a variable called y and we'll assign it the value 3.5, where 3.5 is a float value. Let's print out x and y and their types, just to verify this. We'll have print x, and we'll output x, and we'll also print out the type of x with the type function. We'll also print out y, and we'll print out the type of y as well. We'll have print type y, colon, and then type y. So if we save this, and then run our program, we see that x has the value two, and it has the type int. y has the value 3.5, and it has the type float. Now, if we were to add these two numbers together and store the result into another variable z, we would find the resulting value is going to have the type float. Let's try that out. We'll have here z is equal to x plus y. Let's output z, and we'll also output the type of z as well. So we'll have print type z colon, and then type z. So if we save our program and run it, we get that z has the value 5.5, and the type is float. So what's happened here is the value of x was implicitly converted from int to float in order for this addition to occur. So sometimes Python will perform what's called implicit type conversion, where it will implicitly convert a value of one type to a value of another type. Explicit type conversion occurs when we as the programmer use a built-in Python function to convert a value of one type to a value of another type. So for example, there's a built-in float function that can be used to convert int values to floats, as well as string values to floats. Let's go over an example. First, we'll create a variable ai, and we'll assign it the int value two. We could output the value of ai, and we could also output the type of ai, just to verify that it is an int. So we'll save this and run our program, and we can see that ai is set to two, and its type is int. We can use the float function to convert this value to a float type value. So here I'll create a variable called af, and I'll assign it the value float ai. So the float function is going to take this int value as an argument, and it's going to return a float type version of this value. We could output af and the type of af to verify what's occurred. We could have here print af colon and then af and then print with type af and then type af. So we'll save our program and test it out. And we see the value of af is now 2.0 and the type is now float. So what's occurred here is the built in float function has been used to convert the int value two to the float value 2.0. And we can see with the type function that the actual type of the value itself has changed to float. We can also use the float function to convert a string to a float value. So for example, we could have here b is equal to 2.45 as a string. We can output b and we can output the type of b as well. So here we could have print and then b and b and print type b and then type b. And if we save our program and run it, we see that b is the string 2.45 and the type of b is string. 
Now we can convert it to a float using the float function. Here we could have b is equal to float b. So when we use the float function to convert b to a float, we can just assign the result back to b. We could then output b again, and we'll also output the type of b. So we'll have print type b, and we'll output the type of b again. So we can save our program and run it. And we get 2.45 again, but this time, notice instead of string, it's a float. So we can use the float function to convert a string value to a float value as well. Now there's also an int function that can be used to convert a float value to an int and a string value to an int. Let's try that function out. First we'll make a string like this. xs is equal to the string 5.25 and we can output xs as well as the type of xs just to confirm that it is a string. So we'll have print xs and then print type xs colon and then type xs. And if we save our program and run it, we'll see that xs is the string 5.25 and the type is string. Now what's going to happen when we try to convert this string to an int? Given that the string is not really an int, it contains 5.25. Let's try that out. Here we'll have xi1 is equal to int of xs. Then we'll try to print out xi1, and we'll try to print out the type of xi1. So we'll have type xi1 colon, and then type xi1. So we'll save our program and try it out. And look at this, we get an error here. We get value error invalid literal for int with base 10, 5.25. And the problem here is that 5.25 is not a valid integer, so the conversion fails. We could convert a valid integer successfully. So for example, if we had here xs is equal to the string 5, 5 is a valid integer. We could save our program and try it out, and now the conversion works okay. We get xi1 is 5, and the type of xi1 is int. So with the int function, when we're trying to convert a string to an int value, it does have to be a valid integer in the string for it to work. We could also try to convert a float to an int value as well. Let's try that. We'll have here xf is equal to, and we'll try 5.25 again. Let's see what happens this time. First, we'll print xf, and we'll print the type of xf as well. So we'll have type xf colon and type xf. And if we save our program and try it out, we get that xf is 5.25 and the type of xf is float. Now let's try to convert this to an int. Again, we have this problem that 5.25 is not really an integer, but we'll try it. We'll have here xi2 is equal to int xf. We'll then try to print out xi2, and we'll try to print out the type of xi2 as well. So we'll have print type xi2 colon, and then type xi2. We'll save our program and try it out. And notice what happens this time. The conversion doesn't fail, but we do get xi2 is five, and the type is int. So the conversion did work. The only issue here is that we have lost some information. We've lost the fractional part of the number, the decimal portion, 0.25. So sometimes when using type conversions, we might lose information. There's also an str function that can convert int, float values, and other things to strings. Let's try that one out. Here we'll have y i is equal to seven, which is going to be an int. We could print out yi as well as the type of yi. So we'll have type yi colon and then type yi and we can convert yi to a string. So here we'll have ys1 is equal to str 
yi. Then we can print out the value of ys1 as well as the type of ys1 as well. So we'll have type ys1 colon and then type ys1. We can save our program and try it out. And notice that yi was seven with the type int. After the conversion, ys1 is seven, but now it has the type str for string. We can also use the str function to convert a float to a string. So for example, we could have yf is equal to 7.25, and that's going to be a float. We could print out yf as well as the type of yf with type yf colon and then type yf. Then we can convert yf to a string with the str function. So we'll have ys2 is equal to str yf. We could output the value of ys2 and the type of ys2 as well. So we'll save our program and try it out. And we get that yf is 7.25 with the type float. After the conversion, ys2 is 7.25, but now with the type string. Now the str function can be used to convert other types of values to strings besides int and float values. So for example, the str function can convert a list to a string. We could have here slist is equal to str with the argument, the list, one, two, three. So the str function is going to take this list and convert it to a string. We could print out slist as well as the type of slist. We'll have type slist colon and then type S list. And if we save our program and try it out, we see that S list is one, two, three, but the type is string. So the str function can convert things besides just int and float values to strings. There are actually a bunch of other built in functions for performing explicit type conversions in Python, but I'll cover those functions in future videos. So this is how type conversions work in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.